So that's the easiest terms to explain what's going on. And what was the reason we started bringing this up again? Oh yeah, that's because that's why you want to contact. It's a lot easier to, to, to clarify what's going on before you run into problems. Because clarifying what's going on when you're at the cashier, trying to decide who's going to pay for the meals and get into an argument, is too late. That's when it gets messy. And people are pissed off and a couple have left already and I'm getting stuck with the bill and holy geez, people are mad. You know, like that's just not the way to do it. Before you're sitting down, hey, you know what? Before we even go for dinner, I'm going to pay for the meal or we all pay for our own meals. Like just get the terms of your business arrangement, which is what that is when you're going for dinner. It's all, it's just a, a microcosm of something that you could, you know, extend to every situation in life. Just get it out there first. Contact them and say, hey, I just wanted to clarify something. Because I got this birth certificate right here. And it's my understanding that I'm this guy. Correct me if I'm wrong. And it's also my understanding that because I'm this guy, I'm appointing this guy. Because that's my investment. And if I'm this guy and I'm appointing this guy, that kind of really only leaves you guys. So it's my understanding that that's who you guys are. Correct me if I'm wrong. If they don't correct you, then you're not wrong. File that in court, in the court record. That one document, it could be four lines long. And send it from this guy. Because you're not in court because of rights, but it's got nothing to do with human rights. Nothing. You could basically equate court to almost like a boardroom. Except there's no board of directors there at all. Or a, a meeting of the trustees, an employee meeting. So you would draw up the documents outlining these facts. And yep. you would appoint the yep. human well, they're not Clifford as director and you would do it on behalf of Dean Clifford, all caps legal person. Because it's a corporation. And you would sign it as authorized representative by No, I would sign as director. As director? Yeah. That's the seat of power. And the only person that can remove you from the seat of power is this guy. And who's this guy? The major shareholders, so no one can remove you from your seat. Not even the judge. Sucks to be them at that point. Because now they're 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 regulated to this. That's all they got left. And that is who they are. They're public employees. That I can get into much more detail about how the whole thing works, but this just keeps it so simple you yeah. can't not understand it. Yes. And that's what's going on. So, so the, the man is irrelevant. What role are you playing? In fact, if somebody ever asked you who you are, you never have to answer more than man. I'm the director. Yeah, or I'm the director. Well, director of what? Well, who are you looking for? Bah! You know, they get mad at that point. They don't like that. You know, well, I'm, you know what's, what's your name? Well, man. No, it's your real name. Are you saying I'm not a man? <laughs> like, what are you? Are you? Are you? Are you, are you, that was gonna, are you challenging me to a fight? Are you questioning my manhood, or are you saying I'm not a member of mankind? Like, yeah, like where are we going with this, right? And like, they don't like that kind of stuff. Like, so are you saying I'm not a man? You know, and you're required of this and blah 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 and yada yada the whole nine yards and this and that. And you say, oh well, I've got a legal person. You know. Or not even say, I, I've got a legal person. Just say, are, are you looking for the legal person? You can say that. And they may say, yeah. You know? And that's when I, I showed some people over there like the ID that I'm kind of toying with for no other purpose and just I want to see what happens and you actually get pulled over with it. But I've got my, I think I've very clearly established the roles with the government between me and myself. And, the same, and actually what you just said there also about when you, uh, when you contact the government, and you, you, you basically state the fact that this and that and the other, okay, that's not a fact yet. That's a presumption. It's not a fact until both parties agree. So if they're going to dispute your claim, they've got a chance to dispute it. If they don't, by default it now becomes a fact because they've agreed by not disputing your claim. That is what makes a fact. So now that you, and then once you default them, you send them a certificate of default. If you ever had another court charge, ever, you just take those two papers, the first one and the notice of default, and you go and you put copies of those right into the court file. 
and you can even draw up a little order. And that's why uh, basically in the chain of command, you've got these guys down here. So if a judge issues an order and he's an employee, who can overrule the judge? The director. Director. Overruled. You've been charged with, you know, the, the legal person's been charged with blah, 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 blah. Overruled. Signed, director. Who's going to dispute that now? Who's got more authority? Because we all know there's no real injured party in a statutory offense. It's just codes that these guys are supposed to follow. And if they don't get this guy to show up, I don't know how many stories I've heard of people that walk into court and just say, I'm, I'm just the beneficiary. And they sit in the back and the court's like, oh, all right, just sit back there and be the beneficiary then. You have no voice, just sit back there. And then they may all try to offer you something after they find the person guilty. You know, there's a guy in Saskatchewan I know that used to do that. He'd just sit in the back of the courtroom and when they say, well, you know, uh, you know, so and so, uh, I, I had, I had to find, uh, I had to find, I, they'll say you guilty or whatever. It doesn't matter. He'd be like, yeah, he goes, okay, whatever. I don't care. I'm just a beneficiary. I'm not liable for anything anyways. And then as soon as they say, well, the crown has asked for, uh, you know, this amount of money, you say, good, tell them to pay it. Ah! You know, that's when the, that's when the shit starts. So. Yeah, it's over at that point, and they know it. Yep. And that once you understand the roles here, chess becomes an awful lot easier. Yeah, especially when you know the side that you're just talking about. Exactly. Yep. If they try to flip the point, okay, fine. If that's where you want to do the pit. <laughs> there you go. Exactly. Yep. Yeah, because it. it <laughs> Jesus, more money they scammed off us. Yep. So I don't, I don't know. I don't know if there's any more questions about that, but that's so it's a lot easier to 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 preemptively contact them and establish the roles instead of showing up for court for the first time and getting into a shouting match with with uh, with the justice. Could you not uh, submit that before court? Absolutely. Yeah. Sure. Uh, Absolutely. If you get a promise to appear or something, it should be good. That, that's out. personally what I more so believe administrative remedy is. Yeah. Is before this meeting that's going to take place We're for all these guys right here. Sure yeah. Does. Like you can consider the court the upper management of the trustees. But you're still over you're still on the board of directors. Mm -hmm. So if the courtroom is like a like a meeting of upper management and they're holding this meeting, <laughs> you kinda and you're gonna show up there and they don't know who you are, well, damn right, I'd have you arrested too. Like, who are you? Right? So establish who you are. And if you really want to still go there, by all means, but just let them know you're coming. Let them know who you are and that you're going to be showing up. They don't like surprises because you might just find that it'll disappear before you get there because they don't like stuff on... Without specifically saying that you're the shareholder and director, right? Without actually saying that, just holding your ground and not allowing them to do it, you you, you, you you can't you can't establish your authority without letting them know who you are. I'm not even sure how you would do that. That'd be like a French commander showing up on the on the on the, on the English uh, lines, and 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 just starting to order people around without clarifying you know yeah, without saying what his authority is. Commander, right? The guy's on his way. Like that's why people in the military like you know what his authority is. Mm -hmm. You always know what somebody's authority is by whatever hat, their clothing, their, their badge, whatever. Well, ours is going to be paperwork. But once you've responded to something like a promise to appear, if you were foolish enough to sort of sign in the first place, except under duress, yep. um, you know, sending something like that, they're not going to want to see you in court that day. Yep. Ah, that, you know what, though? There's one, like, once you understand the power structure here, there, there's any number of ways to deal with a ticket. They're not going to like it. Don't do it at the side of the road. I mean, unless there are, you don't have no license and they're arresting you in the whole nine yards. I usually just go with it, um, like I did last time. And I didn't go with it. They had to smash my window out. And they, but then I, I was being peaceful. And as soon as they smashed the window out, they're like, you, are you going to come? Because I didn't even give them a name. They wouldn't actually do anything to me. They just smashed out the window and they opened the truck. And they're like, are you going to come peacefully now? And I said, I've been being peaceful the whole time. You guys, the ones who just smashed my window out, wouldn't prove any of your authority, right? You know, on a wall, they're like, uh, you know, get out kind of thing. And I said, are you going to physically harm me if I don't? And they said, yes, we are. We're going to place you under arrest. I'm like, well, if you're going to harm me, then I guess I'll just come along with you. But it's not you willingly. Be harmed if they arrest. What's that? 
You don't have to be harmed even if they arrest you. Well, still on that lawful arrest. Uh, yeah, I just didn't want to be actually physically grabbed and beaten yeah. again. How so. you register your vehicle if you don't have a current driver's license? Register it. How, who registered? Was your vehicle registered? At the time, yeah, because I was uh, registered to my uh, numbered company, I believe, my corporation. So my, my construction company was still registered under that. Okay, but they still, to date, I believe, when you register a vehicle, any vehicle, they want to see you provide a current driver's license. No. Not if it's for the not if it's for a construction company. Nope. Really? Absolutely not. And not only that, but because I was driving with a plate just because I didn't want to be hassled for a while because I really hated every time they impound my, my vehicles, I sent them a notice. The Attorney General, he gets stuff from me all the time. I'm sure I'm not on his Christmas card list. But uh, I let him know exactly what I was going to be doing. I'm not coy about this stuff. Let them know exactly what you're doing and you say if you guys have a problem with it, then you respond to me in writing. See what they've done in Alberta now. It doesn't matter whether it's private or commercial vehicle. They are attaching a driver's license to everything. Yep. To the registration. Even better reason yeah, for here. yeah, it's an even better reason for people just to get accustomed to contacting government, asserting their their status, and not driving with a plate anymore at all. Yeah. Period. You can argue well, even under the Manitoba Highway Traffic Act, you can get an exemption for a driver. I don't care about their. I don't need their exemption or care about it. Sure. Yeah. yeah. They need my exemption. If you take off a place, then you're uh, inviting them to pull you over. It is, Check but here's the line. thing. I like to put a plate on that has some identifying marks so that when they run the plate number, Just the finger. they know it's me. Well, yeah, so I got my own, uh, my own digit. I think I've shown people. We've got a couple of different plates. All right, so I had this one made up. And I sent them notice, and I said, when I'm driving around, you're going to see this plate. It's got my numbers on it, and these identify my property. And the notice has gone into them, right? And there's a fee schedule attached to me when I'm in this, and that's the best reason for it. If you see this number and you pull me over, it costs this much, because you have no reason to pull me over. I'm not performing a function of government. I'm not a government agent. I'm just yeah, me. It, it, it establishes the the link. It establishes status, number one. That's right. And it establishes a fee schedule, number two. They should know just by seeing this that I'm obviously not something under their jurisdiction. That's what I'm getting at. Just yes. by them being able to pull up and bring up your that file yes. that's connected to that statement that was sent to, to the government officials. Yes. So I do believe that you know there has to be some order to these kind of things. Consent. Yeah. And that that is my identifying marks, right? So if I get in an accident, I hit somebody, someone writes my plate number down and says, this car just fled the scene of an accident, yep, right? Well, I've let you guys know what my numbers are. You know where I am. You know where my place of business is. You can get in contact. I'm not trying. In fact, I'm trying to be helpful. I'm trying to really be, this is where to get a hold of me. This is my place of business. Here's my mailing address. Um, it's all linked to the legal person. Okay, how's your liability handled? What's that? It doesn't need to be. He, he you don't have full liability.